Have you heard of the term LGBTQ plus before? Do you know what it means? LGBTQ plus is an acronym short for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and the plus stands for the people of different gender identities and sexualities that do not feel represented by the identities of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. Today, we are going to talk about Two-Spirit Peoples. Two-Spirit is an LGBTQ plus umbrella term used to describe some indigenous LGBTQ plus people that identify with both the male and the female spirit. This is a term that is special for indigenous peoples. Before colonization, when British and French people came to the territory we currently call Canada, two-spirit people had important positions in their communities. However, when British and French people came to the territory we now call Canada, they tried to impose their ideas about gender, about what they thought a boy should be like and what they thought a girl should be like on two-spirit peoples. Indigenous LGBTQ plus peoples are continuing to reclaim their two-spirit identities. There are some important two-spirit activists and artists who live in Wollastikuk. For example, Alan Chiki Polshis is the chief of St. Mary First Nation. He is the first openly LGBTQ plus chief in Atlantic Canada. And have you ever heard of the artist Jeremy Dutcher? Jeremy is a Wolostawig, composer and performer from the Tobique First Nation here in New Brunswick, and they identify as Two-Spirit. Jeremy creates and performs music, but they're also an important activist voice in the province. Jeremy aims to preserve both Wolostic culture and language through their music. They went to the National Archives in Ottawa and found an old recording of people singing in Tobique First Nation, taken by an anthropologist in the early 1900s. After they found the recording, they created an album where they play the piano and sing in the Wolastic language alongside the recording that they found. It is important to remember that only around 100 individuals speak Wolastic fluently today. Though people like Elder Emilda Purley are continuing to pass on Wolastic language teachings. The importance of Jeremy Dutcher's compositions to share the Wolastic language must be highlighted. Jeremy Dutcher believes that composing their songs in Wolastic became a way of sharing the value of Wolastic art and a way to develop a closer relationship with their own ancestors. Do you know of any other artists or activists who identify as two-spirit?